Let's say you're an aspiring mid lane player that wants to learn the game better and you just happen to pick Talia. Well, the champion choice is pretty solid since it can teach you a general sense of macro game and also micro by her main combo and Q positioning requirements. You didn't wait much after you bought her, you jumped right into a ranked game, which I will not do because that's the stupidest thing you can do when you pick a new champion, and instead you should first go into the practice tool and read all of her abilities and try some random combos, who knows, maybe you'll get them right. After this you are going for a normal game where you hope you get to play mid and where you set your summoner spells to something defensive such as heal and flash and then you set up your runes following your favorite pro players on probuilds or op.gg. Game starts, you get your dorans and go to defend a jungle entrance from the enemy team and then you head to lane where for the next two levels you will avoid a cheese level 2 gank from the enemy jungler, ward at level 2 aside and stick to it, poke with Q, E and auto attacks if possible and get all the cannon minions because they are damn important now. At the sweet level 3 your main combo gets enabled and you can start casting it in hopes to get the kill if the lane allows. You should always ask yourself if it's safe now to go for the kill. Think where the enemy jungler was last seen and proceed accordingly. If you are playing with Archangel stuff, soon enough you could buy your tier and start stacking it up or even the lost chapter item if the gold allows. You should always try to help your jungler with your damage or heal if you see him in danger. Stick to the walls with your passive and try to assess if it's worth to go there and fight with him or if it's too dangerous and you risk dying. At level 6 your ultimate is enabled and you can start thinking as a jungler, what's the best path and how should I go bot to get some kills. Try to use your ultimate as often as possible and seek the gank opportunities. Best cases are when you follow your jungler on a gank and you get kills. Worst cases are when you gank and you get yourself and your team killed. Try to reach some form of advantage by creating pressure on side lanes and going for the infernal drakes and towers. Especially in lower elos the enemy mid laner won't always follow and the enemy bot lane won't always expect you. So get a vision ward and create a path towards bot by using the ward in the bush that's in the river. Switch to red trinket at level 9 and get a vision ward every time yours is down. Scale into the mid game and continue different ganks and sieges whenever possible. Always thinking how to rotate and what objective is the easiest to get in the current moment. Win teamfights by either doing a full combo on their mid laner ADC or anyone else who is squishy or poking with Qs from a distance. Your ultimate is pretty hard to use in a typical 5 vs 5 mid lane fight but simple to use around objectives, Baron or Drake Pit. Towers and jungle zones are your friend in terms of team fighting. Whenever possible block certain access paths and displace the enemy team. Obviously you will see super synchronized ults in pro play that will decide whether a game was won or not, but in your typical casual game don't expect your team to get the message most of the time, so telling them your grand plan might work before casting a random ult. Keep in mind that you're an early game oriented champion without the Archangel staff build and play accordingly. Keep up the farm and you already did half of the job. Do decent ganks and combos and you are better than 70% of Talia players. Repeat these teamfights until the final goal is achieved, victory. And as always, don't lose hope even if you failed. At first playing Talia might feel impossible but it gets better with practice, so hit your combos and wall them up. I'm Drumat and I really hope you like this concept. Have a beautiful day.